this is Caleb from Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And last episode, everyone, we pretty much finished up the rest of the Terrace uh, Dome by defeating or going through Loop this Loop the Loop Galaxy, Flip Switch, and also fighting off against Mega Leg. And today's episode, we're going to be heading to the fountain and completing some of the galaxies in here. So, if you like the sound of that. Please make sure to drop a like on the video, and if you're at all new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's get straight into things. We have two new galaxies here, which we can try and explore. We have Rolling Green Galaxy, which looks to be just a single star, and then Space Junk, which has three. So, I think today's episode, we're just going to be heading into Space Junk Galaxy, and seeing if we can take on all three of these stars, which... Hopefully should be some good fun. And the first one we have available is Pole Star Path, which is probably going to involve a lot of pole stars. Yeah, you can see all of those there. Even some cool kind of star shard things along the way as well. Yeah, just hanging out up here. And here we go, landing onto some mysterious platform in the middle of space. In the middle of all this space junk. Uh, we can hop down onto this kind of cylinder thing, collect all these star bits, which we'll probably need at some point. So let's grab all of those up, then start making our way across the pull stars here, grabbing some coins and other assorted items along the way before we head down onto this planet. Let's grab this star chunk here, grab a few on this little orb, and the rest should be on here. Let's jump down to this planet. Grab these two. And let's see, where's the launch star going to appear? Right between these two. Very nice. And, okay. It's just running in circles for a second there. We're just, like, holding left. We burst through that planet. And we go ahead and land over here on this rocket ship. This is pretty cool. We got some star bits here, some coins as well. You can grab all those. Nicely done. And then fly over to this planet, which is just has a star bit. Well it has a pole star inside of it, which is pretty awesome actually. We can head over on top of it and start making our way through this little coin and pole star lifted path. Flying all the way down here and just kind of speeding through this area. Nice. I need to pull back up here and go along through this mess until we find these spider guys, huh? Can we just, yeah, we can just spin them away. They're not too much trouble. Let's just spin. I may need to jump on this one because we need a bit of health back, like that. Then we can, ooh, that's a bit odd. Gravity just messing with there because it's all on such tight angles. Uh, we can destroy these tiny pieces of crystal. And these bigger ones with toads in. Like this one and a few up here. Uh, there we are. All of them are nice and free. Oh. And what's this? Captain Toad has just arrived. Huh. That's nice, I guess. But what's down here? Like, is there anything important down here? We've got a question block. That's cool, I guess. Um, got some more spiders. We can just ping those away. Is there anything down here? No? Huh. I thought there might be, but apparently not. Is it literally just... Do you literally just do this for whatever's in this block? I guess so. Uh, let's grab this coin here. Jump on this spider too. Like this. Or get his star bits instead. And, oh. Yeah, this is literally just for some more star bits. So let's quickly grab all of those for heading up this area onto the starship. I uh, don't need to talk to Captain Toad. We can just take his star and fly up to this area where we have some silver stars it looks like. And oh, this is cool. Platform just kind of appearing as you get closer. That's nice. Then we get this nice hexagon one. We already know where some of this path is, so let's jump up here. Very cool. Grab this silver star, 
And we can start running back a little. Where is our next one going to be? Okay, we can head left or right. Let's head left quickly. There are two we can grab over in this direction. This one. And then this one over here. So let's do a nice side flip onto here. Before we uh, kind of backtrack a little. And this can get scary at times. Um, let's make our way up here. Okay, try to stay on course. I like how these platforms just kind of appear then disappear. It's really cool. Just like the random assorted, well, lit literal just space junk around the place. Just coming together whenever Mario gets near. And, oh, yeah, that is scary sometimes. So let's make our way down here. And we shouldn't have to make any more jumps, I don't think. Nope. None over any perilous gaps. And there we go. Our first star has been collected. Very nice to see. Now if things are going how they normally do in these galaxies. We're now going to be introduced to some other mechanic. And then we're going to face off against a boss in the third and final. Um, oh, we discovered a new galaxy. That's cool, I guess. That's uh, not save the game for now. Just save a little bit of time. We can head up into this star, and it seems we've unlocked... Ooh, Battle Rock Galaxy. Might check that out in the next episode. But yeah, Space Junk, we can head back here. Find out a new mechanic in the second star. Fight, fight a boss in the third. We have, ooh, Camella's Airship Attack. Maybe we are going to be fighting against the boss. Sounds like it. Yeah, look at that. We got some of Bowser's fleet here. With those massive octopi. Which remind me of um I think King Caliente. Yeah, but uh let's head over here. We got Toad. He he wanted to tell us something, but we can just straight up ignore him. Let's head over here. I know there's a Goomba hidden in here, so let's just bop his head. Spin all these crates open at the same time. And Hit this lever right there. That can open up the bridge. But then I also saw... Um, oh, let's try and jump back up here. There was some sort of question mark block. What's going to be in here? Is it just star bits? It is just star bits. But that is a nice reward for Mario on this journey. Um, what are they doing over here? Are they just doing a spin jump? That's, that's what it looks like. To show that you can get extra height from it. Nice. Uh, let's just... We can do that up here. We don't really need to get those coins. But it's nice that they show us how to do it. Oh, and we actually use it right there. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, then what do we do over here? Oh, that's just a nice a nice way to show how you can do some spinning. Let's free these toads. Is there anything? Okay. I think we may have to use these Koopa shells to open these treasure chests. So let's grab this shell here. Open up that one to get star bits. Probably some more star bits here on the other side. Oh, no, it's a coin. And then I guess we can use the um, this again to open that treasure chest behind Kamek, which has a launch star. And we don't even really need to fight Kamek, I guess. We can just head up here. Deal with this instead. Okay. It looks like a seesaw platform. That's cool. So let's uh, get it tilted up here. And then pop that question mark block for all of those stars before popping down this funnel I guess and what's down here we got a whole heap of star bits that is very nice and we can head right back up to the surface to fight some of these guys I guess uh, let's uh, break open this we can grab some coins if we really want to break open this toad as well and bounce on these oh that's nice bounce on these to get ooh, red shells are they just going to be like homing missiles? Well, I guess they might be, but you know, I don't really know. Uh, let's just try and throw this regular one at him. That seemed to work. I wonder why we had those um, red shells in the first place. Maybe just to help out struggling players, but what's going to happen now? Oh, looks like a boss. It is Camilla with a star hidden in her wand. Or not really hidden, it's on... Full display there. 
Let's see. Oh, this gives out coins, which are for health, obviously. But maybe we're going to be able to use these shells here. Just damage her like that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You can grab some star bits from her. As is customary for all bosses. Let's go ahead and wait for her to fire a green one. And intercept it. Oh, no. That just straight up hit us. Now she's going to fire out fireballs. Then a shell. Let's see if we can... Yeah, we can intercept that midway through. So, oh, we completely missed off that one. That was just, that was a mistake. Get spin it in midair. Let's aim directly at her. There we go, that was a better attempt. Now it's gonna happen. Ah, she's gonna summon some mini Kamex to deal some more damage for her. I guess that's cool. Uh, we can jump on top of him. Now they've both been defeated. And we can spin this shell into our hand. Wait for her to move. Then just hit her with it. Nice. Three hits and she's dead. Like any classic Mario boss. And the star's been released. Which leaves us only to grab it and celebrate. Well done, Mario. You can now take that star, fly back onto the Comet Observatory, and celebrate, I guess. There you are. We got the Camellas airship attack from Space Junk. We can head right back into there. Oh, what's happening? It seems that a Prankster Comet has appeared somewhere. Prankster Comets have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comets, ask the Luma who knows about such things. Um, okay, so we have a potential Prankster Comet we could visit. Um, I guess... You know what, maybe we'll check that out at the end of the episode if we have time. Or we could start off with it next episode. But for now, I just want to head back into Space Junk and defeat the boss of the third star. So let's head back into the fountain here. Pull on this pole star. And head right back into Space Junk, the, epi the galaxy of the day, of the episode. See what... Let's see what the boss is called. It's Tarantox's Tangled Web. So this is Tarantox you're facing up against. Cool, I guess. And we're going to have to go through this place that I saw on our first go-round. As well as fighting a ton more spiders. Which probably means Tarantox is some kind of tarantula or spider boss. Um, let's jump across here. And instead of using a launch star, we can use the pull stars this time. We can fall down here. We have all these spiders, which we can take care of if we want to. Uh, we're only going to be spinning away at these crystals, as they are going to be giving us more star bits. Come on, let's hit him. Or we can just leave him. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll spare one. And then we can go flying through this section again. And instead of going up this time, we're going down. And heading to this strange planet. Cool. And I, I saw there's a hungry loom over there. Let's quickly see. How many star bits do you want, mate? You want... Go to tasty star bits. If you feed me a bunch, I'll burst with snacky happiness and transform. I need 50. And we ha only have 39. Okay. So I guess we need to just... Go in here and get some more. Um... No, none here. I can spin this Goomba. Then run into him. That should get us some. We've got 42 there. There's another Goomba up here. We can get some more from him. Just like that. And there we go. We got 50. But we can also just get a few extra like that. And head back up to the Luma there. So let's get right on out of here. I believe it was somewhere around here, the exit. Um, no. Uh, let's defeat this Goomba quick, since we're here. Okay, the exit is up here somewhere. Um, but there is a... Ooh, there's a launch star, but there's also the Hungry Luma. And I want to see what the Hungry Luma does, so... Let's hop out of here. And where is he? He's... He's somewhere around here. There he is. Hopefully now we should be able to feed him on up. Come on. Let's feed him. 
If we go here, there we are. We can feed him all 50 of these star bits. And maybe that'll give us a bonus. I'm stuffed, here we go. Transform! And that's going to... Create a Yoshi head. Huh. Will this actually give us any progression? I don't know. Is this just like a fun gimmick? Uh, let's just jump on him. Uh, oh, we're trying to like see how much, how many we can get in a row. Okay, uh, one. Uh, no, this isn't gonna work. If I try and can I try and like lure them all to me? Like this. That's is that gonna work? No, that, that's not really gonna work. But let's just hop on all of them. Um, bounce, bounce. Okay, is it like stop on three? I can't tell. So here's one. Squat, uh, one, hit one, swing, one. Okay, this is going horribly. I can't do anything. I didn't even give out coins. Uh, let's, oh no. Yeah, I'm in real trouble now. On one piece of health left, probably going to get killed by these Goombas, which is really embarrassing. We got two in a row. Are there any more? There are bound to be a few more, because otherwise I'm stuck. Okay. Here's one. Let's bounce on his head. Let's bounce on this one's head. There's only one more left. There he is. And what does that do? Oh! That's like a secret star, I guess. That's pretty suit. That's pretty nice. So you can grab that. And, um... Okay, so I guess... Maybe we're going to head in there for, like... The actual boss battle, again. Um, yeah. Yoshi's unexpected appearance. That was unexpected, and I didn't really think we were going to get a star from that. I thought it would just be like a nice shortcut in the level, but I guess not. Uh, anyway, let's, um... Oh, and now there's a comet here, which I guess we'll have to do. Speedy Comet. So maybe, I guess, we're not doing a boss battle in this episode. Maybe we could start off the next episode with that. Yeah, Speedy Comet in orbit. What does this mean, then? Pull star path speed run. So I guess you have to do the first level, but speed run it. So like avoid all the distractions this time, and just head straight to the end. Seems like a good strategy. So let's head in. We have no time for pleasant trees. Immediately, Mario, you have four minutes. Go, pull star, shake, drop down here. We have coins. What do they do? I don't know. Just, oh, no. Grab the pull star. And let's just go, go, go. Manic speed. Let's go with the speed of whatever. Speed of the fastest thing alive. We need to go faster than Sonic. Let's grab this one. Swing up here. Oh, no. Bounce up to this platform. Get these star chips. Go around the platform, I guess. Accidentally get hit with electricity. Go on to this area. Grab the final star chip. Run directly into the launch star. Get fired off. Destroy this crystal in the process, but not actually jump on the planet. Arrive at the spaceship and run directly towards the chip to avoid uh, any time loss. We can then get onto this pull planet. Run and jump. Get onto this pull planet. We are down one minute. We only have three remaining. But it seems like this should be fully achievable. I can't actually even remember where the star is. Oh, yes. This is the um, silver star one, isn't it? Okay. Let's head across here quickly. Try not to get lost in space as we climb over here. Okay. Quickly, we're down here. Run past all these spiders. We don't need to worry about them. Run directly past him. And we want to save only the toads, because that summons Captain Toad, just like that. There we go. Captain Toad has been summoned. We must quickly use his starship to get up higher. Quickly. Thank you, Captain Toad, for letting us use your vessel. We must now proceed to the stars. Quickly, Mario. Lightning speed. We already know where all the stars are this time. So let's make our jumps. Run away. And make some nice long jumps as well. Okay. Watch out for this. 
Long jump back to the center. We know we're safe where there are coins. Okay. Let's head over here. Grab this one first. Run it back. And that was a nice calculated long jump there. Now we can jump over here. That was a risky jump. But we can make our way up in this direction. And long jump to the star. That was a clean jump there. We can now create the golden star, which should be at the beginning. Nice. Long jump back. And now we should be mostly safe. Yeah. I guess we can just make a few long jumps over here. And that's the star with, a, with 1 minute 26 remaining on the clock. Well done, Mario. Congratulations on becoming a speedrunner. And anyway guys, I think that's just about where we're going to leave off today's episode. So, we managed to run through four different stars in Space Junk Galaxy without even defeating the boss yet. And we've discovered a new galaxy in here. Brilliant. But yeah. So we've done a whole ton here. Enemy base spotted. That's brilliant to hear. But yeah. We've been through four different stars. Not even faced off the boss. And just had a ton of fun in Space Junk Galaxy. So... If you've enjoyed that, please make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you're at all new to the channel and want to see more content just like this, then please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Kayla Trump Plays, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.